you wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind. Has a pop! It's broken loose. Trying to get there. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Danilo Pereira. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Oliver Torres. Fischer. Pizzi. Up to meet it! Oh, surely that deserved better. Oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. And it's Oliver Torres. Danilo Pereira. Now it's Oliver Torres. Aimed long and direct. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Lobs it in gently. Has a hit! Looking to break out here. Brings it forward. To throw in. Through. That's well read. He's picked him out. Forward it goes. Forward it goes. Pixie. He's looked long this time. Played into space out wide. Last ditch. Has a hit! Fischer will simply have to tip his hat to the keeper here because that was a magnificent save. Herrera. Maybe goalless, but it is not without interest. Well, they could have had a bit more joy earlier if they'd varied their game and, and played a longer ball forward. I think this is looking much more promising now. Beautifully done. It's anyone's ball. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And it's shown us. Fischer concedes a free kick for that. Forward quickly. Oliver Torres. Fisher. Get the pass he's looking for. And it's Jonas. Jonas really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Away from immediate danger. Chooses to go back. And it's been taken straight back. Herrera, in comes the cross. Aimed long and direct. Good idea, just poorly executed. 
tries to get it forward quickly. Marino Pereira. Oliver Torres. It's on a plate. The shot's on. Goal! Porto! Half time rapidly approaching. That could be a big one. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers, too. It was all very well drilled. Porto draw first blood here. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. And it's Herrera. Battles to win it back. Jardel. The referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Porto happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. goes and we start the second half Porto carrying a one goal lead goes looking and it's got through and here comes the corner boots it to safety forward what does he try from here? And he's on his way! Jonas. It's being played forward. And the counter is on. The chances keep on coming. They're awarded another corner. Up for the header! And the... And oh! Wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Up he gets! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Fine defending there. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And it's Salvio. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. He's made sure that that won't get through. Keeper goes long. Gets it back. Jonas. Herrera takes the long option. Looking for a decent ball in. Plays it. Gets up to head it! He scores! Two up and threatening to pull clear. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Herrera 
demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Porto take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Jonas looks to thread it through. Alex Tellez. Benfica have made their intentions clear by leaving men up front. Looking to play on the break? Yeah, it's obvious that they're prepared to take a, a risk or two. And he's going long. Here it comes. He's left his man. He's had a shot. And in again. They are rampant. And they are cruising away. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, listen, last line of defence, and you don't get it right, then you're paying a visit to your net. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Well positioned to make that interception. Alex Tellez done very well to intervene. For a moment, you thought he's one on one. Goes for goal. Oh, that is an awful miss. Porto were again presented with an opportunity to break and look. Very, very threatening. He's got through. He's on his way. Hits one. It is a fantastic goal. Oh, that is a gem. Yet another goal in an awesome performance. They are in complete charge. The vision wonderful, the technique perfect. Well, the goalkeeper would have helped to make his mind up on how he was going to finish it. Porto totally rampant here. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Porsche. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Into the last five minutes. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Salvio. Forward it goes. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Can he score? What about it? And again, they pile on the misery. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. Porto tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. And that's it. Porto, winners of a no contest, they just swamped their opponents in superior quality. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit and getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly stuff, that's what gets you clean sheets and wins. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.